I think people who vibrate at the same frequency vibrate toward each other. They call it in science, sympathetic vibrations. I planned my success. I knew it was going to happen. Time to eliminate things that no longer evolve me. If you invite negativity in, you have to feed it and hang out with it. Best not to invite it in. Vegan food is soul food in its truest form. Soul food means to feed the soul. And to me, your soul is your intent. If your intent is pure, you are pure. We, as black people have, to tell our own stories. We have to document our history. When we allow someone else to document our history, the history becomes twisted and we get written out. We get our noses blown off. I know that I want to concentrate more on my inside pretty than my outside pretty because that's gonna go away. But if your inside is beautiful, it never wears away. The light always shows on the outside if you are striving to be good inside. The man that knows something knows that he knows nothing at all. I encourage breaking free of self-inflicted holding pens. I encourage the use of intelligence in every decision. I encourage creating. A home birth is about being able to create exactly what you want because it's such a violent moment inside of the body that you want everything else to be as beautiful as it can be. Be you. Make sure you're saying something when you're saying something. It's important to sound like you, to feel like you, to be like you. Be you. When you're performing, you're creating a moment. I'd rather see a person with a natural mind and process mind than a process mind and a natural head. I just keep going. When the water's too still, I start splashing around and things jump out of the water. I was born to make mistakes. I ain't scared to take the weight. So the most natural thing to me is to stay as pure to a real tour, close to who I am as possible. He definitely does what a partner is supposed to do. That is evolve you. People are uncomfortable with sexuality that's not for male consumption. I'm only in competition with my last level. It don't have nothing to do with music or anything. And the last level is hard competition. The last place you were. The wise healer endures the pain, cry, tears bring joy. I'm just being who I am and expressing myself as everyone else does. When it comes to fashion or any high art, you have to have a combination of delicacy along with taste. I don't think it matters what school you go to, but I think it's important for parents to be involved and to know that when school stops, learning continues and to continue teaching at home. I really enjoy being the child's welcoming committee and to help someone usher his or her spirit into the world in a very peaceful way is very effortless to me. But now I realize that this record business really needs me. No one else is trying to take a chance or do something different. What a frequency. What a voice. I love Bill. I couldn't imagine a music world without his voice. People who say that music is dead or hip hop is dead are refusing to evolve. We lock ourselves into our own philosophies, our own religions, our own walks of life. And if we fail, we condemn ourselves and then we get sick. Hopefully my music is medicine, some type of antidote for something or some kind of explanation or just to feel good. What singing means to me. I never did consider myself a singer. I just let people watch me feel music and how it comes through me. I've worked on it and practiced a lot. I mean, music, I dance to it. And singing is just one way of getting it out of me. During childbirth and hospice, I'll sing gospel songs that my grandma taught me when I was younger or something I've made up or I'll hum. I just play things that I think the audience will like. I'm a woman who has gone through many heartaches enough to dedicate my whole life to trying to figure them out. The reason why you don't see people looking like me is because I don't encourage that. I encourage you to be you. Some people come up and ask for an autograph and don't even look at me. They're like, here, do it. That don't bother me, but it doesn't open my heart. When people are going on to the next plateau of whatever this thing is called life, I also want them to breathe easily. Even if it's the last one they take here with us, I guess I'm the welcoming committee and ushering committee. It's weird. 
but if I decide to do an album, then the ideas start fitting themselves together. I consider myself a nice slow burn, plus, it's not a race, and I have a lot to share. I believed in myself, and I've always worked very, very hard as an artist, and I am an artist in every sense of the word. No one chooses to raise children alone. I love to leave the interpretation of my music up to the listener. It's fun to see what they'll say it is. Breathing becomes really easy when you're laughing. It kickstarts that feeling of joy. I don't plan how many people I work with. I don't charge anything. It's for my own learning. And I just enjoy being the welcoming committee. I became a doula by default. I'll dabble here and there in different forms of the art, but the label has me locked down like a slave so of course, I'll be doing albums during this time. What draws me to a project is how sympathetic I am toward it, so that I can relax into it and give up myself. If you want to relate to a certain audience or generation, you have to speak their language. I truly believe that peace and blessings manifest with every lesson learned. If your knowledge were your wealth then it would be well earned. Erica Abbey Wright born February 26, 1971, known professionally as Erica Badu in Dallas. Her mother raised her, her brother even, and her sister alone after separating from their father, William Wright Jr., the children's maternal and paternal. Grandmothers often helped look after them. Badu had her first taste of show business at the age of four, singing and dancing at the Dallas Theater Center and the Black Academy of Arts and Letters to Ball under the guidance of her godmother, Gwen Hargrove, and uncle to Ball founder Curtis King. Badu is an American singer and songwriter, influenced by R&B, soul, and hip-hop. Badu rose to prominence in the late 1990s when her debut album Baduism 1997 placed her at the forefront of the neo-soul movement, earning her the nickname Queen of Neo-Soul by music critics. Badu's career began after she opened a show for D'Angelo in 1994 in Fort Worth, leading to record label executive Keeter Massenburg, signing her to Keeter Entertainment. Her first album, Baduism, was released in February 1997. It spawned for singles, On and On, Apple Tree, Next Lifetime and Other Side of the Game. The album was certified triple platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America Rea. Her first live album, Live, was released in November 1997 and was certified double platinum by the Rea. Her second studio album, Mama's Gun, was released in 2000. It spawned three singles, Bag Lady, which became her first top 10 single. On the Billboard Hot 100 peaking at number 6, didn't Chano? And Cleva. The album was certified platinum by the Rhea. Badu's third album, Worldwide Underground, was released in 2003. I degenerated three singles, Love of My Life and Ode to Hip Hop, Danger and Back in the Day Puff, with the first, becoming her second song to reach the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at number 9. The album was certified gold by the Rhea. Badu's fourth album, New America Part 1, was released in 2008. It spawned two singles, Honey and Soldier. New America Part 2 was released in 2010 and fared well both, critically and commercially. It contained the album's lead single, Window Seat, which led to controversy. Badu's voice has been compared to jazz singer Billie Holiday. Early in her career, Badu was recognizable for her eccentric style, which often included wearing very large and colorful head wraps. She was a core member of the Soulquarians. As an actress, she has played a number of supporting roles in movies including Blues, Brothers 2000, The Cider House Rules and House of D. She also has appeared in the documentaries Before the Music Dies and the Black Power Mixtape 1967 to 1975. 